I'm Alex Hale and welcome to the Halloween edition of Win Stuff. Uh, today's mustache is brought to us by Scotch Brand Set and Finish Gift Wrap Tape. We'll see how long it does its job and keeps this affixed to my face. Uh, today we're joined by the girls from the All Girls Cheerleading Team. If y'all wouldn't mind introducing yourself and uh, telling us something about your day. Okay. So. Um, I'm Stephanie and today I had four classes, two exams and no lunch. So I'm a little bit hungry and I can't wait to go to McEwen and have some mashed potatoes after this. <laughs> I'm Chelsea. Um, today I ate a hot dog for lunch. I walked into a spider web and some guy behind me goes, man, it got you good. <laughs> I'm Michaela. Um, I was walking into Argo after class today and I saw a girl and she waved at me and I didn't really know her, but I waved back and as I was passing her, I heard her say, I don't even know that girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, the highlight of my day was when I was in McEwen. I walked in and I said, hey, Miss Judy, how are you doing? And she talked and and then she, you know, she goes, well, you know why I'm happy? And I said, why? And she goes, it's hot day. <laughs> and I'm not making it up. She did that. Exact voice. Exact. In, fact, I, I, in fact, I hope when you get a McEwen later, ask her what day of the week it is. And see what she says. <laughs> okay, I'll make well, sure to do that. All right, so the rules of the game are simple. There are three categories to pick from each, each time we ask a question. One will be a music question, one will be a movie question, and one will be a television question. It will be in that order. Uh, Stephanie, since you're first, you can go ahead and pick our category from the three I'm about to read. Each one's worth a point. So whoever gets it right, the next person will then pick another category and so on and so forth. Are we excited? Ready to go? I'm yeah. in. All right, awesome. So Stephanie, you can go first. You can pick between the categories Heebie Jeebies, Mr. Burton, and I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost. I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost. Okay, your question is, <laughs> what ghost tracking show on the Travel Channel is back for its 11th season? Chelsea. Ghostbusters. <laughs> you got one word right. So the first word is ghost. The answer is ghost adventures. Oh, oh yeah. I was totally going to guess I that. Know, I know. <laughs> and I, I'll confess, I, I have been watch, binge watched. Um, so uh, Chelsea, since you gave it a shot, you can pick the next category. Your choices are Heebie Jeebies, Mr. Burton, and it's all relevant. Uh, Heebie Jeebies. Heebie Jeebies. What 90s horror film used 1938's song Jeepers Creepers as a theme song? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> the, the film, the, an, the answer to the question is in the question. What 90s horror film used 1938's song Jeep... 1938. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the band. That's incorrect. I'm afraid that's incorrect. That's the band. What 90s horror film used 1938's song Jeepers Creepers? Chelsea. Jeepers Creepers. You are correct. Yeah. Yes, 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 that is correct. I don't. I thought that was the right. song. No. So we are on the board. We are on the board. This is big. Oh, this is shoot. big. Chelsea, you're in the lead with one yes. point. <laughs> you are behind there is absolutely still time. So Chelsea, if you want to go that's ahead okay. and pick the next category, your okay. choices are: It's Alive. Mr. Burton, and it's all relevant. It's all relevant. It's all relevant. It truly is. Your question is, Ryan Murphy has said that every season of what show is all connected? It comes on tonight at 10 o'clock. I'm going to be watching it. Chelsea? Modern Family? No, that's oh. not correct, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Jessica Lange has been a long time show owner. Kathy Bates is in it. Um, it's in its fifth season. It's in a hotel this time. Previously, it's been, in a, and think, keep in mind, it's Halloween related, so it's kind of scary. It goes by the acronym AHS. American Horror Story. Yeah. 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 for a point. All right, so you can pick the next category. Your choices are It's Alive, Mr. Burton, and Screams. Um, let's do Screams. Screams, okay. Leah Michelle plays a psychopath in a back brace in what teen drama? Okay. Scream Queens? That is correct. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. Guys, I'm doing so well. <laughs> uh, trust me, there is still plenty of time. We're only four questions in. Okay. So you can go ahead and pick the next uh, category. Your choices are It's Alive, Mr. Burton, and Do, 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 Do. Um, we'll go with It's Alive. It's Alive? I can't wait for someone to pick the last one. They have to sing it. Uh, your question <laughs> is what living dead monster sang Putting on the Ritz with his creator in 1974? It's a classic. Michaela? Frankenstein? Uh, um, if he's not old, he's... Young Frankenstein? Yep, I'll give you the point. 
You got it, for sure. Uh, <laughs> moving on, you get to pick the next category. Your choices are extraterrestrial, Mr. Burton, and do 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 do. We'll go with a do 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 do. Good choice, good choice. Uh, what science fiction anthology series had five seasons from 1959 to 1964? It was resurrected in the 70s, 80s, I think like early 2000s. Forrest Whitaker hosted it. It's a creepy TV show. The Twilight Zone is the answer we were looking for. Oh. If you've not seen it, it's a pretty good show. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie, you can pick the next category again. Your choices are extraterrestrial, Mr. Burton, and get your vaccines. Mr. Burton. Mr. Burton, okay. Your question <laughs> is, what director of Edward Scissorhands and Beetlejuice recently opened an exhibit of work at LACMA? I do not know. I don't know. <laughs> the not answer cool. is in the category. <laughs> Stephanie. Mr. Burton? I'll give it to you, Tim Burton, the answer you're looking for. <laughs> For sure, oh, for man. sure. I got one. All right, yeah, you, you do. So, Stephanie, you can go ahead and pick the next category. Your choices are extraterrestrial, red rum, and get your vaccines. Get your vaccines. Get your vaccines. I did not this year, and as a result, I did, in fact, have the flu. Uh, your question <laughs> is, what spinoff series that started this year on AMC shows the breakout of the virus? I feel like I should know that. I it is like a I show. Know. So the original series was about zombies set in the southeast. Oh, um, mm. It's the, yeah, Michaela? It's something to do with The Walking Dead. I'm going to give you a half point. Okay. Sure. <laughs> the answer is Fear the Walking Dead. Yes. Oh, uh, it, yeah, it Yeah, it's a, it's a great show. I just started watching it. So we've got time for probably one more question. Michaela, since you got a, I mean, sorry. Yeah, Michaela, since you got a half a point. You can go ahead and uh, pick our next category, extraterrestrial, red rum, or Area 51. Red rum. Red rum. All right. So your question is, what movie about newlyweds in the 1800s recently was released? You've been seeing creepy commercials for it for a few weeks, I guarantee, if you watch television. Guillermo del Toro directed it. And the answer is Crimson Peak, and I'll hopefully be seeing it soon. That's it for the first half of round one of Win Stuff. We'll see you after the break. All right. I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. <laughs> the average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Visit us at stoptextstoprex.org. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. <laughs> Extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're they're blocked too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex Hale, and welcome back to the second half of the first round of our Halloween edition of Win Stuff. Uh, so right now, the scores are still pretty close. We've got Michaela with three and a half points, Chelsea with one, and Stephanie with one. Still plenty of time to see that change. So, are we ready to start? Yeah. Yep. All right, uh, so Stephanie, since you started the, the first half of the first round, Chelsea, you'll go ahead and pick this one. Okay. Your category choices are extraterrestrial, oops, we did it again, 
and Area 51. <laughs> Oops, we did it again. Oops, we did it again. All right, your question is, what found footage ghost series recently released its fifth installment? Uh, it's, so when they run previews for this one, they generally show the audience screaming. I mean, it's, it's uh, you've got to kick yourself. The answer is Paranormal Activity. Uh, oh my goodness. So this one is called. I thought it was a show. No, well, well it's, a, it's a series of films. So this one is called The Ghost Dimension. Um, all of them have been Tell terrible, me. but uh, maybe this one's not. Uh, Chelsea, you can go ahead and pick the next category. Your choices uh, are Extraterrestrial, It's All a Bunch of Hocus Pocus, or <laughs> Area 51. It's All a Bunch of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> it's All a Bunch of Hocus Pocus. What 1993 Disney Halloween classic has been rumored to be getting a sequel, supposedly directed by Tina Fey? Chelsea? Halloween Town. Unfortunately, that is not correct. <laughs> Stephanie? Hocus Pocus? That is correct. <laughs> Hence the category, it's all a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Right? Oh, man. Right. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Stephanie, you can go ahead and pick the next category. Your choices are extraterrestrial, villainous, and Area 51. Uh, um, extraterrestrial. Good choice. What Katy Perry song shares a name with a 1982 film? Michaela? E.T. That is correct. Oh, didn't know that so I quickly. Didn't know. And oh, the title of the category. Yeah, <laughs> extraterrestrial. Et, see, so you got to pay attention to the category. It's usually a pretty good hint. Darn. Michaela, you can go ahead and pick the next category. Uh, okay. Your choices are Walkers, Villainous, and Area Fifty One. Walkers. Walkers. Mm -hmm. What Michael Jackson song created an iconic dance move? Michaela. Thriller. That is correct. I know. <laughs> You're too quick. You are too quick. <laughs> You can go ahead and pick the next one. Actually about Christmas. Oh, I like that. Villainous or Area 51. Let's do Actually About Christmas. Actually About Christmas it is. The song, This Is Halloween, is from what Tim Burton film? The Night Before Halloween? Christmas? You are so close. <laughs> oh. You are so close. Stephanie, or no, Chelsea, you got the it. The Night Before Christmas. You are so close. It's a nightmare before Christmas. That is correct, oh. Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, you got it. All right. You can time. pick the next category. We've got time for one more question before we close out round one. Would you like Follow the Spiders, Villainous, or Area 51? Follow the Spiders. Follow the Spiders. Good choice. That was what Chelsea was doing earlier today. Uh, your question <laughs> is, what YouTube musical spinoff of an iconic magical film series has over 11 million views? Hint, it stars an actor from Glee, Darren Chris. And the answer is a very Potter musical, and I don't blame you, I've never heard of it either. Uh, so, an update on my mustache, it's fallen off, we'll see you after this break. Every budget, so don't accept defeat. Now you can get covered and still buy me treats. You take care of your pets. Now it's their turn to take care of you. Visit GetCoveredAmerica.org to learn about your health insurance options. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig. Knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hi, I'm Alex Hale, and welcome to round two of Win Stuff. Our scores right now, we've got Stephanie with three points, Chelsea right behind with one, and Michaela in the lead with five and a half. So, <laughs> round two, things change up a little bit. Scores are doubled, so you know, each question is going to be worth two points, which makes a big difference, believe me. So 
In this round, you'll pick between a connection or a one-liner. A connection, I'll name two characters from a movie or television show. You'll have to tell me the work that binds them together. So, Forrest and Jenna, Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Right, so one-liners, I'm going to read you a quote, and you got to tell me who said it and from what movie it came from or television show. Uh, sometimes we do songs, this time it's just going to be music and television. So, I'm sorry, movies and television. Uh, think you're ready for it? Yep. All right, let's get going. So, Michaela, since uh, Stephanie and Chelsea have already started the round, you can start this one. Would you like a connection or a one-liner? Um, connection. A connection, all right. Jack and Sally. I'll give you a hint. It was... The last question we had, or two questions ago, I think. The Nightmare Before Christmas. That is correct. <laughs> yes, for two oh points. Yes. <laughs> and would you like a connection or a one-liner? Uh, one-liner. A one-liner? They're here. Mm. It's one of my favorite movies. Oh, I'm going to be sad if y'all don't get it. I, wait, I, I like know it, but I <laughs> Any guesses? Anyone want to start a guess just for fun? Um, no. It, uh, it's it's with the red rum thing. No, no. not quite. You have a guess? Is it a new movie? They just did a remake of it. Uh, the visit? Something no, like unfortunately, that's not right. Uh, it's Carol Ann from the Poltergeist. It's a oh. Steven Spielberg film. They oh. just redid it. I have yet to see the remake. I kind of want to. Even called it? Um, it? But the original is always going to be one of my favorite movies. So, uh, so. You know what, Chelsea, you can pick the next category since you get to pick one this round. Uh, would you like to go with connections or one-liner? Uh, connection. Connection. Uncle Fester and Morticia. It's a, uh, there were a couple movies and a TV series in the 60s. The Adams Family? That is correct. Oh. Da, 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 da. Man. Da, 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 da. It was filmed in go. my town. No way. Yeah, Where's way. that? Westfield, New Jersey. Westfield, New Jersey. Who would have thought it? <laughs> so cool. Uh, and... Uh, you get to pick the next one. So, connection or one-liner? Uh, connection. Connection. Norman Bates and Mother. Bates Hotel? That is not... Well, actually, I'm going to give it to you. That's a TV series that has Norman Bates and his mother. Okay. We were looking for the 1960-something movie, uh, Psycho, the Alfred Hitchcock film that it's based on. But we'll give it to you for sure. Okay. It's good for two points. So you can go ahead and pick the next one, connection or one-liner. 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 Uh, here's Johnny. Oh, no. Oh. I'll give you a hint. It was not Johnny Carson who said it, but it, he was who inspired it. It's, all right, I'll give you a hint. It's that Red Rum movie. Stephanie? Red Rum? <laughs> it's not correct, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I could give it to you, but I can't. Does anyone have a guess? I don't know the name of that. That's all right. Uh, it's Jack Nicholson from The Shining. The Shining. Oh. Which is another great film if you haven't seen it yet. So uh, I can't remember who picked last. I think I did. Well, yeah. then you can pick again. Uh, connection or one-liner? Um, connection. Connection. Cindy and Brenda. It's from a series of spoof uh, horror films. The title says it all. The answer, okay. Cindy and Brenda? No, unfortunately not. The answer is Scary Movie. Oh, oh. And they were in one through four. Uh, Michaela, you want to pick again? We've got Connections or One Liner. One Liner. One Liner, good choice. Factory Binks, Thou Still Alive? I'll give you a hint. Uh, this is, we, we actually had a question earlier that had this one in it. It was what 1993 Disney film Michaela? Hocus Pocus? That is correct. Do you know who said it? It's only good for one point unless you can tell me who said it. Oh. <laughs> but that's fine. We can totally okay. give you one. The answer is Winifred Sanderson. So, Michaela, you get a point for that one, and you can pick one liner or connection. A uh, one liner. A one liner. Okay. I see dead people. It's a great Bruce Willis film. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. The answer is The Sixth Sense. Oh, and it was Cole Sear who said it. That's all right. That's all right. We'll mix it up. Chelsea, this time you can pick connection or one liner. One liner. One liner. All right. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. So in this film, the antagonist um, chases his victims through their dreams. 
It's the biggest thing I can give you. The answer, oh. Michaela? Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, that is the correct <laughs> film. So you get a point for that. Now, Michaela, do you know who said it? Freddy? That is a character in the film, but that's not who okay. said it. Freddy Krueger <laughs> is the antagonist. The answer is Nancy Thomas. Okay. So uh, you can go ahead and pick the next one. One liner or a connection? One liner. One liner, okay. Uh, the answer is, and you are a zombie, an ex-wife. It's no. from Mean Girls. It was Aaron Samuels and Katie Whoa. Harris. <laughs> mean Girls? What? That is like our movie. I knew that. Know that. Movie. You should know, I know this. I know. I know it. I know it. But that's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, you want to go for one more? Uh, connection. Connection? All right. Jigsaw and his victims. Ooh. <laughs> Stephanie? Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That is unfortunately not correct. <laughs> Saw, I know. Y'all, unfortunately, the answer is Saw. So that brings uh, us to the I end so. of round two. Of our, uh, our scores now, we've got Michaela in the lead with nine and a half points. Stephanie, you've got seven, and Chelsea with one. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and award our second and third place prize today. Uh, you get a $5 gift card to the Fat Frog or Pandora's. Oh, nice. yay! So, yeah, see, third place is not that bad, is it? And uh, you get a $5 gift card to the Oak House. Thank you. So unfortunately, we're going to have to say farewell to y'all for now, but we thank you for playing, and y'all were great. And, thank you. Uh, and then, uh, Michaela, you're going to stay on for our final round, okay. which is the speed round. So <laughs> oh, in that oh one, goodness. we will have a series of this or that or one or the other kind of questions. And uh, we'll just have to go as fast as we can and see how many we can get, which uh, is pretty exciting. So we'll see y'all later. And... Uh, We'll be back to you after this break, so thanks a lot. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs, just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? That can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover keytar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Hi, and welcome back to this episode of Win Stuff, our Halloween edition. Uh, we are just starting our third round, so we've had to say farewell to Chelsea and Stephanie for now, but they'll be back with us uh, before you know it. So here we are in the third round. Uh, this is our speed round. So the goal is to go as fast as you can. Okay. Uh, you're going to have 20 questions, so two separate sets of 10. And uh, they will be yes or no or this or that kind of questions. Okay. Uh, the goal here is 15 out of 20. So if you can do that, we'll be excited. <laughs> I'm trying All right, you ready to go? Yes. Yep. All right, and keep in mind, no matter what, you win stuff. Okay. All right, so the first one is going to be Disney villain or not. Okay. All right, so Jasper. Not. Correct. Jafar? Yes. Correct. Mother Gothel? Not. 
Incorrect. Hans? Not. Uh, incorrect. Baloo? <laughs> Not. Uh, correct. <laughs> Mama Moja? Not. Correct. Allie Bennett? Not. Correct. Oogie Boogie? Yes. Correct. Blackbeard? Yes. Correct. And Christopher Columbus? Not. That is correct. So right now you are at 8 of 10. So we'll go ahead and go on to the next one. It's going to be 10, Tim Burton movie or not. Okay. All right. So Box Trolls? Yes. Incorrect. Oh. Coraline. That's all right. Um, yes. Uh, correct. Uh, incorrect. I'm sorry. Batman Returns? No. Incorrect. <laughs> Corpse Bride? Yes. Correct. Big Fish? No. Incorrect. Best in Show? No. Correct. Mars Attacks? No. Incorrect. <laughs> Citizen Kane? Yes. Incorrect. Casablanca? No. Correct. <laughs> Frank and Weenie? Yes. So not quite 15, but you still did great, and of course you win stuff. So our <laughs> prize today for you is quite possibly the greatest film of all time. We have a habit of giving those out. Last week was Space Jam. This week is The Notebook. So you can maybe convince her to get some pizza and uh, yep. house and whatever and enjoy that. <laughs> Thank so you. Chelsea and Stephanie, we're going to have you all back on uh, so that we can hear a little bit about how the season's going so far. So, okay. Uh, I mean, how is it going? How's, how's cheerleading going this year? Um, good. It's good so far. Um, we're starting basketball season with football season, so that's a little hectic. So yeah. is it you have to, you know, a lot, lot more practice, or has that happen? Has that factor in? Different cheers to learn. Different cheers yeah. to learn. Yeah, we yeah. had some cheers yesterday for the yeah. basketball season. Very cool. So uh, yeah. what's what's been the highlight of the, of the year so far? Uh, football, games. Yeah. football games. Yeah. Football games, really? Football games with the teammates. The yeah. one where we won in the rain, that, yes. was, that was pretty the fun. Monsoon, actually. Actually. The monsoon, The yeah. monsoon, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like straight out of the movie. I have strategically missed that one. You don't, you don't want to, you know. But uh, well, that's awesome. That's really awesome. So what made you all decide you wanted to cheer? Is it something you've been doing in high school? or? Yeah, I, I've done it all my life, so yeah. I just wanted to continue that. Yeah, yeah. me too. Same. I've cheered since I was like four. So. And uh, how does doing it in college compare to uh, doing it where you were before? It's oh. different, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of hard work, but... Yeah, yeah. It. it's definitely different, like even the cheerleading itself, like we do different pyramids and everything, because um, we're allowed to do different stuff, <laughs> so that's pretty yeah. cool. There's not as many restrictions on yeah. what we can do. No, that's interesting. So, okay. it's a little bit funner, yeah. I think. It's more exciting. Yeah. That's awesome, that is so, so cool. So, uh, what, I mean, what can we look forward to this year? Anything unique or? We have a lot of new pyramids. Yeah, a lot of, a lot new, of pyramids? new pyramids. How do you, so, how, well, actually, that's interesting, how do you, how do you reinvent the pyramid? Oh, there are a lot of ways. There's a lot of, a lot of ways. Okay. So just a lot of different variations of getting into them, getting trial out of error. them. Yeah, trial, trial and error. Trial and error. I'm just saying, I know for a fact, if, if someone was able to lift me up, that I, I would fall. So, uh. Yeah, we're working on a new one now to show at the next football game. So. Yeah. Oh, that would be, yeah, very yeah. So yeah. just different directions and different. Yeah, try yeah. to Different um, positions. Different yeah. positions. Excellent. Well, uh, we'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, Thank you all so much for watching this week's Halloween edition of Win Stuff, where, of course, everyone does always win stuff. Thanks a lot for coming on the show today. Uh, we'll be looking out for you all um, on the football field and on the basketball court coming up soon. I'm Alex Hale, and this has been Win Stuff. Yeah.